So with that working, let's set up our debugger in PyCharm now. So let's go to PyCharm, um, top right here in the execution section. Let's come down to configurations and we're going to add a new configuration of type ME debugger. Uh, let's call this TCS debugger. And one important thing we need to change is we want to change the connection type. We want the debugger to connect to the IDE, meaning that uh, TCS is going to connect is going to connect to PyCharm instead of the other way around, because this way we can actually catch code right in the beginning of a mission. Uh, it's going to give you this little snippet of code here. Let's copy this, and we're going to add that to our mission scripting file. Because, like before, the mission scripting file is, is loaded before the mission starts, so before the mission starts, TCS will connect to um, PyCharm. So we'll add this in, and then to test this, if we um, come to our utils file here, which is under moose utilities utils, let's add an extra function in here to um, see if it works. So let's add, add a function, and let's just call this add numbers, which will take a number one and a number two. And the result is number one plus number two and let's return that and we want this to be utils dot add numbers um so let's add a breakpoint on this first line here and then load the mission again oh no um before we do that, we actually need to start the debugger because it's not started automatically. Um, so you have a little debug symbol here in PyCharm, click that, and that will bring up uh, our console window here. It opens a server and says waiting for connection. So let's run the mission now. And if everything went well, uh, we should see that DCS connected to PyCharm. So it says connected here, so we know DCS is connected. Uh, and then let's run the function we just added. So let's take this and let's add 5 to 9. Um, so what we should see happen now is uh, when we execute this, DCS should become unresponsive um, because the code is halted. And we should see these numbers show up in PyCharm. So let's run this. I'm trying to move the map around, but I can't because DCS is halted. And as you can see right now, we're halted on this first line in our utils file. So it's loaded and halted in the location that we added it from. We can see that number one is five, number two is nine. So let's press F8 to step to the next line of code. And now we can see that result is also a variable that's assigned right now, and that's the number 14. So this is a very nice way um, to set up your uh, your environment to work with code in DCS because you can just make changes to the moose files from a normal location um, and you have real-time debugging as well where you can step through the code. And we're going to use all of this uh, for the next videos where we're just going to make a very, very simple function, a very simple mission with uh, a couple of moose functions. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.